My name is Nephi Wolf, and I'm with NCSI. And uh, this video is to give you a quick overview of extraction. Um, there will be uh, about a dozen other videos that will be linked from this one that will show everything in more detail. Um, but this will just kind of walk you through the program, show you some of the different parts, uh, get you more familiar with it, and, uh, and then you can watch the other videos to get more, more detailed information. Um, so the extraction program, uh, it's a reporting tool. Uh, it points back to a database and it has modeled data. Um, so extraction can, uh, it can make it easy for you to pull uh, items in to create a report. For example, we could just uh, drag an item over here and we can see incidents created in the last six months. Um, we can group things. So we could say we want to see a pie chart. You can see some of these over here, of like categories for incidents, how many incidents are active. And there you go. That shows how many are active. Um, there's a bunch of different, you know, different things that you can look at. What's the impact of these different incidents? Uh, a few of them are high. Most of them are medium. So it, it gives you a quick and easy way that you can drag, uh, drag items over and create reports. And you can make them as advanced as you want to. Um, there are a uh, lot of out-of-the-box uh, reports, uh, dashboards. So you can come in here and, and uh, like with the service manager program, uh, there's reports for incidents, problems, changes, you know, a bunch of different uh, reports that they've created out of the box for you. Um, you're not restricted to these. You can always create more reports. Uh, but these are some reports that you can look at um, that you can start using right away without having to, to know the program. Um, so there, um, one of the videos that we will have will explain the installation and the initial configuration. Um, another one of the videos uh, will explain the dashboards here. And so like this is a dashboard. Uh, this, the dashboard area is something that you could put on a TV or something that you could look at for a report. Um, so if you wanted to take a quick status check of your, your help desk, see how their, their tickets are doing. Um, you could show how incidents over 90 days and things like that. Uh, there's also a, a documents section. This is the, the dashboard section. Uh, documents here. Uh, the documents, uh, these are, they're, they're basically the same. Um, the dashboard here will have different uh, gadgets that you can work on. Uh, but the, the document, um, you can have multiple uh, and I don't have any vulnerability information, but you can have multiple of those gadgets, and these ones export better. Um, so if you wanted to create a report that you want to email, um, you could create 30 different reports here and add them all in, and then you could email that out, and you could get a Word document with 30 pages and 30 different reports in it. Um, so it works really well for an export, whereas the dashboard, um, you can only you can only have just a handful of items on the dashboard. But if you wanted a whole bunch, and you want to email that out or save a file, you could do that with, with a document. Um, <clears throat> so as I showed you earlier, you can uh, drag different um, items over and create different reports. You also have different data sources. Um, so right, right now, for example, all of this is incident-related information. Um, but on my dashboard, maybe I want to look at the service desk in general. So then I can change my data source to service requests. And I can uh, drag over another area over here. So these are service requests, and these are incidents. You can combine those on the same, the same dashboard. Um, with each of these reports, uh, we, with each of these gadgets, you can also filter them. So actually, let me show you this one. Um, so this one here, uh, we have several different reports here. We have a filter. So this one doesn't have any filter. So we could say, we just want to create a filter. And you could say, only show me incidents created during the last six months. And there you go. So you can filter that down just like that. You can filter all the different data sets. Um, you can also add multiple reports on the same, same dashboard. Uh, oops, didn't like my filter. Let's go back in there and remove that filter. Okay. So uh, 
Um, so this report, it has three different reports on it. You can see that it has created incidents. So in October, we created 46. November, we created 45. It has uh, closed. So we can see that we closed 10, and we didn't close any in November, closed one in December. And then it also has this line on it, which is a third report, which is the percentage closed. So in October, we closed 22% of the incidents, uh, zero in November, 2% in December. So you can combine multiple report pieces onto the same gadget, so you can report on um, different things. Uh, so that, and, and again, we'll, we'll have more videos out there that you can uh, dive into to find how you can do that and how you can set those up. Um, but I also wanted to show you um, one other thing. Uh, there are folders here. So as we go and open open up folders, we can see that there's all these different folders for uh, like facilities, for endpoint manager, service manager. Um, but you can also publish folders. So uh, like this is a private folder for the executives. Um, I can see that because I'm an administrator. And I can see the different reports in there. Um, but then if somebody else logs in and they don't have the same level of permissions, uh, they go in there and they look at those, those same folders and they don't see that executive folders. Um, it's not published to them. So you can create folder structures uh, that only certain people can see. Uh, so you can hide reports, um, you know, make executive reports only available to the executives. Uh, so the the, repo, the program is is very robust. Uh, does a lot of you know it, it, it makes it easy to report on things. You you can just drag. Uh, you can group things together. You can say you want a a pie chart to find out how many people, you know, how many incidents are created by the different people. We can see that me Nephi Wolf has, has created the most incidents, 15. And Alan Taylor has created 14. So you can just drag things like that over there. Um, there's different types of charts, tree charts, and, and, and again, we will go over these in other videos, so we'll show you how you can do all of these different things. But uh, the extraction program is, is a, a great program. Uh, you, it makes it easy so you can drag and drop, and with a little bit more training, then you can, you can create more detailed reports and filter things out and, and set these reports exactly how you want. And uh, um, one last thing that you can do is with these reports, you can schedule them. So you could uh, send out a like a, a service desk report every Monday uh, to show you the last week's performance. So you could create a report and then schedule it to go out on like a weekly on Monday. And uh, we deliver it through email. And there's a bunch of settings in there that you can set up so you can, you can uh, email those reports out. So we'll go over each one of these sections here. Uh, we'll show you how you can use them and configure them. Uh, but this is the basic uh, review, a basic uh, experience with extraction.